Hey there, YouTubers, I'm going to do a benchmark video. This time we are featuring the i5 13600KF on a Aris Elite AX B760M motherboard. Let me uh, change positions here so we can get this going. So I have to unfortunately go from the control room to the uh, test station, which is in a quiet room for the most part. So we've done this uh, i5 benchmarks at least four times now. And let's go ahead and just run uh, XTU. Get this going. Now this does feature uh, D5 memory. In a second, we'll we'll check out all the stuff on this computer. Noctua NHU12S Redux CPU cooler. So there's the score, 7904. Um, of course, you can't overclock here. Let's go take a look at this. So there's the i5-13600KF. 32 gigs of RAM, running at 4,800 megahertz. So this is uh, should run up to uh, 5,200 megahertz, I believe. So we probably don't have XMP enabled. There's our BIOS. We have updated it. It's got an RTX 3070 in here, EVGA, running Windows 11. So back to the benchmark. There's the score, 7904. Um, so let me go ahead and make one more spot here. Now, how does this compare, folks? Well, Crush is the B660DS3H, which had... D4 RAM, right? And it doesn't quite get there with the Z690 set to defaults. You can see that score is much higher. And then, of course, the overclock to 5.6 gigahertz uh, doesn't compare there. Let's look at another thing here. So these cores are at uh, 51 which honestly seems a bit low right so this thing's not going to turbo boost any higher than that um, interesting enough something seems a little off with that but let's see here max turbo 5.1 so yeah quite a bit of difference when you can go to 5.6 um, now could there have been some other settings adjusted in this one um, potentially but I think uh, if we watch the video we would see that these are default now, Turbo Boost is set to, uh, this one's set to default. This is set to default, sorry, and that's unlimited. Uh, let's run this one more time. Let's see if we get a different score. That can increase the score, but in this case, I'm not sure it's going to matter. So, yeah, score went up a little, right? Uh, max frequency bumped up to 5.22, <laughs> which is interesting because it's not supposed to go any higher than 
We would almost have to run this again to see sucking up quite a bit of juice now. So I'm going to replace this because it wasn't the one thing they all need to share is power limits unlimited. All right, so let's go find Cinebench R20. And there's the last time we used this. Now, this was in, I believe at the time, a V690 motherboard. I take this drive and move it from one computer to another. So there's a lot of history on this drive. You can see the new i5-13400F, the 12400F, 10100s on here, 12700F, 12900, 13700K. What we don't see though is the i9-13900KF, which destroys everything on here. So the score there, uh, 9140. And higher than the B660. Um, you know, that is all, all RAM to blame there, right? So I don't know what the other ones are, but um, yeah, 32 gigs, 4800. We do have some 6032 meg, but uh, I'm not going to mess with that in this video. So comparative, you know, beats this, but not as good as the V690 or the overclocked V690. Let's go ahead and close this. Pull up R23. And we should see a score. We should see a score, of, I'm betting, at least 24,000. Nope, didn't quite get there. 23,826. But either way, folks, uh, you know, this just shows you that uh, D5 RAM is, uh, is going to be better. Same CPU cooler, I believe, throughout all these videos. But uh, there you go. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.